Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these uh, two right triangles, uh, PQR, and this another right triangle, uh, ABC, are uh, put together. And as a result, we get uh, this uh, yellow shaded region, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, this angle uh, QPR is uh, 45 degrees. This uh, line segment uh, AB is uh, 6 and this line segment uh, BQ is uh, 3 centimeter. And furthermore, we got this uh, equilateral triangle uh, CEP and this uh, blue equilateral triangle area is 9 times uh, square root of 3 centimeter square. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, blue equilateral triangle uh, EPC. And we are interested in finding the side length uh, of this uh, triangle. Since all these side lengths are uh, equal, let me call this side length uh, lowercase a, lowercase a, and lowercase a as well. And now let's recall this uh, famous uh, fact. Angles of an equilateral triangle are uh, 60 degrees uh, each. So therefore, all uh, these uh, angles uh, of this uh, equilateral triangles are going to be 60 degrees each. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, A times B times uh, sine of angle uh, C. In our case, for this uh, blue triangle, our side lengths are A and A. The angle between them is 60 degrees and the area has been given to us as 9 times square root of 3. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. Area has been given to us as 9 times square root of 3 equals to a half times A times A times sine of 60 degrees and now we know that sine of 60 degrees is square root of 3 divided by 2 so therefore I'm going to replace uh, this one uh, by this value so therefore we can write uh, 9 times square root of 3 on the left hand side equal to a times a is uh, a square divided by 2 times uh, this uh, sine of 60 degrees is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 and now we can see this square root of 3 on the right hand side and square root of 3 on the left hand side they are gone so therefore we are ended up with the 9 equal to a square divided by 4 let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 4 to remove this fraction so we can see this 4 and 4 is gone so a square turns out to be 36 let's go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root on both sides so therefore a value turns out to be positive 6 centimeter so therefore all these side lengths of this blue equilateral triangle turns out to be 6 centimeter and here's an alternative method in order to calculate this side length a we could have used this area of an equilateral triangle formula and here in this uh, next uh, diagram, we are going to focus only on this uh, side length uh, CE, which is uh, 6 uh, centimeter. And now in this uh, next step, let's go ahead and make an observation. We can see the area of this uh, yellow shaded region is going to be equal to the area of this uh, big uh, right triangle ABC minus the area of this uh, green uh, triangle CDE, as you can see in this uh, equation. So therefore, our task is to calculate the area of this triangle ABC and the area of this uh, triangle uh, CDE. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, big uh, right triangle uh, PQR. And we know that this angle is 45 degrees. Uh, this is our 90 degree angle. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 45 degrees uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, tiny right triangle uh, EBQ. We know that this angle is 90 degrees, this angle is 45 degrees. So therefore, this angle has got to be 45 degrees as well. And now we can see but that these both angles are 45 degrees each. 
So therefore, this is an isosceles uh, triangle. That means uh, this side length uh, is going to be equal to this side length. If this side length uh, BQ is uh, 3 cm, then this side length uh, EB is going to be 3 cm as well. And here in this uh, next step, I have drawn uh, this uh, perpendicular uh, DF uh, on this uh, line uh, BC. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these two angles must be equal to 90 degrees. Now let's focus on this uh, triangle ABC. Let's assume that this uh, angle is uh, alpha. This is our 90 degree angle. So therefore this angle has got to be our angle beta. And now let's focus on this uh, tiny right triangle DFC. We know that this angle is 90 degrees, this angle is beta, so therefore this angle has got to be angle alpha. So therefore we conclude that this uh, tiny right triangle uh, DFC is similar to this uh, bigger right triangle ABC according to angle-angle similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportion, the ratio of uh, DF uh, and uh, FC, let me go ahead and write down DF divided by FC is going to be equal to the ratio of this uh, side length AB and uh, BC. Let me go ahead and write down AB divided by BC. And now our AB segment is uh, 6 centimeter and this uh, segment uh, BC is going to be 3 plus uh, this 6 is going to make uh, 9 centimeter. So therefore I am going to replace this uh, AB by 6 and BC by 9 as you can see in this uh, next step. And now we can see 6 divided by 9 could reduce to 2 divided by 3 as you can see in this uh, next step. And now we can see that this uh, left hand side ratio turns out to be 2 divided by 3. So therefore I can uh, write uh, this one as uh, df uh, equals to 2 times some uh, constant uh, k and likewise this uh, fc uh, equals to 3 times some constant k as well. So therefore our this uh, length uh, df turns out to be 2k and uh, fc uh, length uh, turns out to be 3k. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, tiny right triangle uh, EFD. And we can see that this uh, angle is going to congruent to this uh, angle since they are uh, vertical angles. If this angle is 45 degrees, uh, this angle has got to be 45 degrees as well. And now in this triangle, uh, this angle is 90 degrees, this angle is 45 degrees. Uh, so therefore, this angle has got to be 45 degrees as well. And now we can see that these both angles are 45 degrees each. So therefore this is an isosceles triangle. That means this side length uh, DF uh, is going to be equal to EF. If this side length is uh, 2K, then this uh, FE length uh, is going to be 2K as well. So therefore uh, this side length uh, EF turns out to be 2K and this uh, side length uh, we already figured out uh, FC is uh, 3K. So therefore this whole uh, length uh, CE is going to be 3K plus 2K is going to make a uh, 5K. But we know that this uh, side length uh, CE is uh, 6 uh, centimeter. So therefore I can equate uh, this uh, 5k equal to 6 and now let's divide both sides by 5 to isolate k. So k value turns out to be 6 uh, divided by 5 and now we know that our this uh, df uh, length over here is uh, 2k and our k value is 6 divided by 5. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So df length turns out to be 2 times 6 divided by 5. So therefore df length turns out to be 12 divided by 5 centimeter. So therefore our this df length turns out to be 12 divided by 5. 
And in this uh, next step, let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, right triangle ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times the base uh, times height. And in our case, our base uh, is uh, 6. And our this whole uh, height is uh, 6 uh, plus 3 is going to give us uh, 9. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So therefore, the area is going to be a half uh, times uh, 6 uh, times uh, 9 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side the area turns out to be 27 so thus our triangle abc area turns out to be 27 and now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, cde and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again and in our case uh, this uh, ce is uh, our base uh, 6 and our height uh, is uh, 12 uh, divided by 5. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. We have a uh, 1 divided by 2 times uh, our base is uh, 6 times our height is uh, 12 divided by 5. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side, this turns out to be 36 uh, divided by 5. So that's our triangle uh, CDE area turns out to be 36 uh, divided by 5. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region. And we already figured out uh, our uh, these uh, areas. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation. We got uh, 27 minus uh, 36 uh, divided by 5. And if we simplify everything, uh, we ended up with uh, 99 divided by 5 uh, centimeter square. And that is going to be equal to 19.8 centimeter square, the area of the yellow shaded region. So thus the area of this uh, yellow shaded region turns out to be 19.8 centimeter square. Thanks for watching it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.